Tonight, city leaders making sure the trans community is seen and heard. KSHB 41's Grant Stevens brings us the KC's first ever forum supporting International Transgender Day of Visibility. It's a big day for the trans community in Kansas City, saying they finally feel supported by city leadership. And you can see that support in the skyline behind me lit up the colors of the trans flag. It's sure a weird time to come out as trans in America, but I feel really fortunate that I live in Kansas City. Today, the city hosted a transgender day of visibility event, the first of its kind. So what I think this says to everyone in our community is that we do care. I think that this is something that is an answer to perhaps what we hear, which is hate from Jefferson City or Topeka from some legislators. What you're hearing from us is love, respect, appreciation. A panel of advocates spoke, including Admiral Rachel Levine, the highest ranking trans person in the federal government as the Assistant Secretary for Health. Today, as you know, is Transgender Day of Visibility, and to that, that means hope to me. To know that our city representatives have our back, um, that is really reassuring. It's a double-edged sword, though. Advocate Marie Jensen says increased visibility has increased the targeting felt by trans Kansas Cityans, but they aren't backing down. Trans people are just a quote, easy punching bag, but we're actually very fierce, very resilient, and so they have another thing coming thinking that we're going to go back in the ground and hide. I have faith in people um, and that if that people really do at the end of the day want the best for their communities, and so if we can just show that we are a part of the community. Here in Kansas City, I hope that we can be that example blue dot in a red sea that says no matter who you are, where you are, where you live in Missouri or Kansas, wherever you're watching this from, you have a place nearby that cares about you. Today is just one step, but supporters say it's one in the right direction. I'm really proud to be a Kansas Cityan today. In KC, Grant Stevens, KSHB 41 News.